in these times we've been so isolated and we feel so helpless. What I wanted them to feel was to feel like they were part of something greater than themselves. I think that's the power of art, to create something greater than yourself. As artists, we have the power to capture an audience. I felt that it was my responsibility, in a way, to use this power of art to do something about the issues that I see threatening our environment, especially in the city of Miami. Issues that are threatening the diversity, threatening the beauty. And the idea was, to bring people into the system so that when they came out on the other side, they were somehow transformed or changed. I'm hoping that by having this collective shared experience, we feel that we can have the agency to come together and help preserve this vanishing underwater world. The clay that I used in the exhibit was recycled materials. I began by reprocessing much of that clay. Once the clay was ready to be molded, we pressed them into silicone molds of coral skeletons. Molds were sourced from coral skeletons around the world, loaned by scientists and other specialists in the field. I wanted to incorporate different colors into the clay because while these coral samples in clay began as very colorful and wet, they slowly dried and cracked and bleached, which is mirroring what's happening with our coral reefs. After seeing the results of this project, I know that there's nothing that we can't do. I first met Nissa when we were in the first grade. We lost touch over the years and Nissa went off to become an amazing marine ecologist reached out to me with this opportunity to help communicate her research that she was conducting in the Pacific Ocean. My goal as a scientist is to uncover the mysteries of the ocean, and I do this to figure out how we can protect our precious coastal ecosystems. People can't protect or care about things that they don't understand. And through Lauren's art, she is giving people an opportunity to touch, to feel, to experience what it's like to be on a coral reef. And through that, you're able to learn. And through learning, you're able to care. And through caring, you're able to protect. Each and every person that will get to come back and see what we did together as a community, they were part of the process. They're not just a passive observer, which lends credence to this idea that we do not have to be a passive observer to what's happening to the reefs. <laughs>